Valentino giving me suits, gangsters. <laughs> Alright. Storm motherfuckers ain't really knowing if you can flow or not, so let's do this shit like uh Now when I say pig, you say P I G. When I say bad boy killer, then you say me. When I say puffy, it's a puffy stream word on my life. I wrote this shit while fucking pig's wife. Now I've been told that little Kim thinks she hot. She not better get that attitude adjusted for one mash is fun. Plus now the branch trip. Must want an ass with it. We be the first ones to fuck with you and bad boy wet. Plus it's too broken, look at my shots to queens. Cause I'm looking for little Sean, that bitch ass fiend. I bet you scream like last year. Best don't come to California, we don't want your bust ass here. When he went in the magazine and he was like, yo, Sean was crying uncontrollably. Right. Nah. Well, how, how, but. Yeah. Bust is too broken, look at my shots to queens. Cause I'm looking for little Sean, that bitch ass fiend. I bet you scream like last year. Best don't come to California, we don't want your bust ass here. It's crazy because I met Tupac through Jack. Hi, it's the moist young Tavero. Little Sean. Mm -hmm. Dig it. Get on up and get down. Now for now, I go 12 rounds. I'm running rap inside of town. Flipping on you like a 62. So what you gonna do when I'm coming to put it on? You can't rap, your mind's paralyzed. The little Sean's on the rise. I got the highs in your eyes on the microphone. The song, you all up in the zone and not stand alone with the eagle at your dome. In the tombs, back on the map real soon. Shoot that Sean, I'm busting back with the boom in the hotel. Make it with your girl this song. Cause I got a pissy jump go for dawn. Come on. I'm ill, so write your will. Cause back rounds will get you killed for real. Here's the deal, you can feel my shit. I got veterans calling it quits for lack of hits. I got the 45 cop with one up in the chamber. On the microphone, I bring the drama with the danger. Dance, you don't stand a chance in here, so get your gear. It's nothing but the funk in here. You know we're near. I'm flipping on you like OJ, but I won't run. I'm coming with a mask and gun. I'm blasting, son. I put your girlfriend in this song, cause I got a piss of drunk. Go for dawn. Come on. I get off when I get on, on the mic it's on I drop the bomb on fake niggas who sound the alarm Never meant no harm from day one, six, seven And me on the run like I had a trunk full of dirty guns I'm taking dope from an African Stuck them up one time and I'm back again I took the keys and the 35 G's in the safe And I do it again, cause I'm following Dominican He's been again, it just might be a trap To blow me off the map with a headshot from a Glock knot I suck a nigga now with song And I got your girl drunk off dawn I'm not going back around them niggas. So now, we used to sit in the crib and watch New York One. And the news repeats every five minutes. Yep. Unless something new happens, breaking news, and we drink in Moet. We get the call. That was the night they got locked up for the rape. So going back to the situation, man, how do you get this situation where you're about to record with Tupac? So, uh... You, you talking then, about you were on uptown. Right. So then after that, Andre had New York Undercover. Right. A lot so. of people didn't know that was his. Yes. So it was him and Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf. Right. So Andre was really breaking into Hollywood, right, with uh, the Boomerang movie. And, you know, so he was transitioning into that. So Jimmy knew that I didn't really want to make records anymore and my heart wasn't in it. So Jimmy was like, nah. I'm going to get my mark in this industry and I'm going to make this little idiot a star. Right. So he went behind my back and went to Andre and said, yo, you know, Tupac wants to do a record with Sean. Mm. Andre wanted Tupac to be on New York undercover as an actor. So all this shit was going on behind me. Right. 
So I'm telling Jimmy before that, don't tell, don't mention Tupac to Andre because Andre is going to try to make me do a joint with him. Right. But again, everybody had their own ulterior motive. Right. Andre wasn't thinking about me doing a record with Pac to break me. Andre was thinking about getting Pac on New York Undercover. And this is a great way to break bread with him. Right. So now if you give Tupac a job on this TV show, and it was a hit TV show at the time, you'll put money in his pocket. And Pac didn't really have no bread like that. Right. So above the rent, I think he got 15 grand right. to do that. But, uh, Damn. yeah. So at the time, yo, dude, it was, you know, everybody wasn't eating like that. Right, of course. So, uh, Andre called me in for a meeting and he was like, yo, man, I heard Tupac want to do a record with you. And I'm, where'd you get that from? He said, Jimmy told me. I'm like, I never heard that. Right. So Andre, Jimmy set up meeting up with Pac and Andre about New York Undercover. So now I get a phone call from somebody at the label saying I had a session to record with Pac. Bryce Wilson was producing it. Mm, from Groove Theory. Yeah. Now, who was another one of Jimmy's producers. Right. Exactly. right. Now, I got to show up. I don't want to go. Right. But you, Because but it wasn't about me. It wasn't about me. It was about Jimmy. It was about Andre. More about Andre. It was about, right. You know, so I got to go, you know, because, and at the time, in a record company, you could get away with getting your living expense, your living advance. So right. I was getting three grand a month for nothing. Right. Right. So I'm going, man, this guy, man, if I don't show up, they're going to, come on, this is. Tupac was still a big star. Right. Right? I wasn't no big star, nor did I give a damn. At the t just give me my money. Right. right. So if I don't show up, that might jeopardize my check every month. You know what I'm saying? Freeze my budget. Yo, man. So I call Howie. I'm like, yo, man, I don't want to drive to the city. I got to find a way to get out of this. You got to come with me to this session. So I bought Howie and my man. Right. Went to the studio. Yo. We up there. Big is upstairs recording with Junior Mafia. All of a sudden, Puff shows up. And now my studio session, which is normally empty, or with my dudes, my own personal friends rolling dice and drinking is full of the Uptown staff, Uptown, right. Puffy. It's crowded like a party. I'm pissed. The shit just was some phony shit. And it wasn't about me. Right. You know, so, you know, I, I'm like, if it ain't about me, that's fine. I don't want it to be about me. So we there. Hours. You knew what kind of record you was going to record? No. Okay. I heard the track. I hated it. Who, who produced the track? Bryce. Bryce. Okay, that's right. I, I never heard it before. Right. I'm a dude. I like to write before I go to the studio. Right. Because I don't want to waste no time. So, when so I this walk, is a forced thing, man. Yeah. So right. when I walk in the studio, I'm going straight to cut my vocals and I'm leaving. Right. You know, the, it's my budget. You and, know. And, and this is pissing you off also. Oh, I'm hot. It's, it's a party now. Right. On so, your budget. So no Pac. Right. Hours. Hours. I want to leave. I can't leave. Right? So I'm stuck. Jimmy shows up. Like, yo, dude, what's up with your man, yo? So now I'm like, I'm taking it a little personal now. Right? Where I didn't want to be there in the first place. Right? Andre's not going to no sessions, man. You ain't go platinum. Andre's not showing up. Right. Andre shows up. I'm like, yo, man, this shit was a circus, right? So now somebody calls upstairs. They just said Tupac got shot downstairs in the lobby. <sighs> yo, when I tell you I went crazy, I just started throwing shit in the studio. I'm like, yo, all these motherfuckers in this, what the fuck are all of y'all doing here in the first place? Right. Y'all was coming here to see a Tupac sighting. Mm. 
get the fuck out. So now the cops lock down the floor right. and the building. So you couldn't leave. Right? So now, elevator opens, pop. And he's like, yo. And I'm like, oh, shit. This motherfucker really got shot. He got shot. You see the blood. Yeah, so his man Stretch is helping him. I, right. I know Stretch from Queens, God right. bless the dead. So I go get his other side, and we help him to the couch. But he can't sit down because he was hit here. Right. So he goes to sit down, area. he screamed, and he was like, yo, the fuck? Right? So now I'm looking around, and I'm like, yo, man, what the fuck is going on? Why am I here? Right, so now my whole thing is... If something like that happens on your watch, right, it's like if I bring you to my house or I tell you, come to my crib and the niggas on my block rob you. I got a problem with the niggas on my block right. because you are there for me. Exactly. That's a disrespect to you. Right. Right. So me being in the street, period, whether actively or non-actively at the time. I'm sitting going, shit, that could have been me. Right. Not thinking it thinking it was yeah. random. Who the fuck shot this dude? Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So now cops flood the floor. Paramedics come, they take Pac out. And what's Pac saying, man? Um, first he was like, yo, told his man, yo, roll me some weed. Then he told another dude, yo, call my mother. You know, but you know, not, you can't look at it like somebody said, yo, call my mama. We talking about a Feeny Shakur. Right. Call my mom's the ex-Panther and let her know what happened. Mm. That's how I took that. Right. Like some plan of action. Yeah. You right. understand what I'm saying? So I'm looking. Yo, and I had wigged out on that. So now people in the studio just stand because I'm bugging. Because you're bugging. Right. So he, he had shot. Went, it's, yeah. a, it's a whole different. So when he the went. The whole mood changed. Yeah. When he went in the magazine and he was like, yo, Sean was crying uncontrollably. Right. Nah. But how, how, but everybody, what was everybody else doing? What was Puff doing? Everybody was shot. Right. Like stuck. Right. Andre was kind of cool. And he was like, yo, Call the ambulance. You know, Andre was a, a cool, grown man, he's right? A cool so, head. Right. right, it was different. And what was what was Jimmy doing, man? Jimmy was stuck too. Like, yo, like the fuck is going on? Right. So now, when they got Pac in the elevator, he's standing, you know, straight up, right? And the doors are closing, and Pac is like, "Yo, man, what the fuck?" To you? No. To who? To Jimmy. To Jimmy. So Jimmy's like, "Yo, man, let me talk to you." Right. And Pac is like, yo, man, what the fuck is going on? Doors closed. Everybody made it out that was with Pac in the elevator except one dude. It was a little guy. I think they were saying that was his brother-in-law. If I'm not mistaken, his name was Zane or something like that. I had read in a magazine. So now the detectives are on the floor. And they're like, talking amongst themselves but I happen to hear so they was like yo we know Pac's entourage had guns on them we gonna search the studio so now the dude that they left behind wasn't from New York right wherever he was from he wasn't from New York right, 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 right. scared to death this dude yeah whoever he was like, he could attest to the story too right right, right, right. So I'm pacing back and forth. And I looked at him. I said, yo, follow me in the back room. Walk right behind me. And I said, yo, you um, you dirty? And he didn't say nothing. He just looked. And I searched him. He had a hand on him. I said, come with me in the live room. Had a piano. So, yo, give me that. Took his hand off his hip, put it in the piano. Mm. I said, when y'all come back here, it's in the piano. Right. The only people know that is me and you. Right. He was like, yo, man, thanks. I said, all right, no doubt. Cops searched the floor, let everybody go. All right? A time passed. 
Pac had already accused, started accusing Biggie. Right. Whoever did it, you know it wasn't him. Right. Right. And now Biggie wasn't that guy anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? That just wasn't him. So we talking, me and Big. And Big is like, yo, man, I can't believe this dude would accuse me of doing that. Me and this nigga was super fucking cool, man. Like, he know I, that's not my style. And before, when Pac first started hanging out with Jack and everybody, Biggie or somebody in his camp had said something to him about it, and Pac went back and told Jack mm. and them. Yeah, and Biggie had got robbed. Right. Biggie got robbed? Of course. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. So, so, so he... The same shit that happened in the movie, whether it was Big or whomever, they told Pac, like, yo, be careful. Yeah, I mean, he didn't really have nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? But still, it's but, your friend telling you. And Pac went back and told them. Told Jack. Yes, and that's when they didn't fuck with Big, Big no more. Big, right. Right? So Big was like, God damn, this nigga just turned, you know. Right. So we talking, and Big was like, yo, man, I'm the one that went to the studio and got their hammer the next day. Out, out, the, out the piano? Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's all he said. Right. And I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to tell you where it was at. He said, how the fuck you know? I said, because I put it there. Right. So it was in the piano. He said, oh, shit. So yeah, it was the little guy had it on him. So if you think about it, right? If you remember, when Pac first went to jail, he did the first interview where he had the frames mm -hmm. on. He said, Thug Life is dead. Right. It's all clean. It was the weed. Da -da 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 -da. Right, right, right. I could think clear. I'm focused now. right now. And when Suge came and put that 1.7 up. Different story. Different attitude. Different act. I was the only person questioned for that. The cops time. questioned you, right? The only person. Right. In Andre's office. So I was like, all right, I'll let y'all question me. I didn't have nothing to hide. I don't right. give a fuck, right? right? But I already had a case in Midtown North. And cases all through, you know, right. Brooklyn. But uh, so we sitting there. Andre's there. And they said to me, so um, we heard you were jealous of him. Mm. And that's why you jealous of Tupac. Yeah, right. That's why you got him wrong. I was like, "What?" I said, "I agreed to sit down with y'all for that. Right. Y'all got me fucked up." Right. I see, yo, man, come back with cuffs. I got up and left. <laughs> the fuck did I? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. We heard. We the fuck you heard that at. Right. And I'm there. I'm. I always kept a lot of jewelry on. Right. Like, huh? And I left them sitting there with Andre. You know what I'm saying? But Big was fucked up behind that. Of course he was. But that whole thing after that, that was all sure. Yeah. I ain't got no all orchestrated to sell Raggy. At a crazy price, too. Man. Yo, dude, that contract was written on toilet tissue. When Tupac, before his untimely demise, Yo, he fired the death row attorneys. See, a lot of people don't know this story. Man, he was waking up. He was fucked up with them. Because he started looking at Snoop and them. They didn't have shit. Everything was in short white name, man. They was being spoon-fed materials. Pac wasn't no dummy. Right. His first manager, Atron Means. Atron, yeah. Older man, wise, smart dude. Okay? Pac wasn't no dummy. Yo, let me ask you something, man. What do you think about years later, man, um, them putting this whole uh, shooting on, on Jimmy Henchman? You know what? You know, and then now Haitian Jack is like, yeah. Like, recently he just came out and was like, yeah, you know, Jimmy Henchman, like, he set that shit up. And, he said that? Yeah. Did he say that? Yep. He said that? Yep. I, I would have to hear him say that. Right. You know, and not, no disrespect. I mean, I'll, I'll just show you, I'll show you that. I'll oh, show I need you, to see that. Yeah, yeah. But no disrespect to you. Right. 
Of course not. But that's not the Jack that I knew. Right. You know? But but what do you think about Jimmy carrying that way on this whole Tupac thing, man? What do you mean? Say like, 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 the, the Jim, part of, part of Jimmy's case is that they implicated him on this Tupac shooting. They, they, they didn't implicate him on the Tupac shooting. Not in the case. Yeah. No. In, in the case, he's holding that. No. You Are better, you sure? You better read the paperwork again. I'll read it again. Go to the smoking gun. Mm. That wasn't none of the charges. None of the charges. Why? Can't be substantiated, right? Because anybody that has ever came out or whatever they put out on all hip hop, no, none of those people were put on the stand and questioned right. for a jury to hear. Wasn't tried. Yeah, but some guy came out and said the henchman paid him. And what happened? You, you follow what I'm saying? No, I hear you. I you hear see, you. the thing is this, right? So you're saying you don't believe all uh, at all. And you know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because if he ever did that shit at my expense, knowing that I'm going to be there, knowing that I was the only one questioned for that shit, it's a violation. Right. That was 94, man. Right, 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 right. How fucking dare you? That's a problem. Like, that's a problem. Right. So if you had a problem with dude. And you bring it into my house. Yo, my nigga. That's like me. Again. Bringing you around some people that don't like you. And I'm going, yo, Red, you all right. You with you me. good. And I turn my back. Right. And you get shot and robbed. It's a violation. Right. I got a problem with. I would have a problem with me before I have a problem with the niggas that actually shot and robbed me. Right. You, you follow what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where I'm from, that don't fly. Right. I can't. I don't know Jack to be someone that would do that. I'm not saying he won't. Right. I'm not saying he didn't. Right. I'm saying I don't know that guy. Right. And you don't know Jimmy for being that guy either. No. Right. You know what? Not not towards me. Right. I never had a problem with him. Yeah. You, you keep in touch with Jimmy? No. Okay. Can't. Can't. Right. You know? And it's just sometimes, man, you know, the streets, man, you live and die without actually living and dying. Right. Some relationships got to die. Right. After that whole Tupac incident, I got turned off to the industry. Yeah. And then Big died. And then Big died. I remember hearing you Yo, listen, on the radio. I remember her hearing you on the radio. Let me tell you something. Yeah. When Tupac died, Giorgio Armani threw, two, threw uh, D'Angelo Lombardi at, 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 at the Kent. armory. Yep. He died that right, night. right before Clark, we got Clark there. Clark announced it. And Angie announced it on the record. Because we right. was home and Angie, I was getting dressed and Angie announced it. Oh, that thing broke my heart. Right. You know, because in my opinion, my opinion, he didn't have to die. Right. It 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 seemed like a senseless, unnecessary killing of someone that could have propelled his career to a Sydney Portier because mm. he had it. Right. Uh, Valentino giving me suits. Gang.